Hi everybody, it's Angie at Treasured Vintage and Etsy shop Dazzled by Vintage. Uh, I told you I would bring you a haul video and a very small haul video from the thrift store that I tried to take you along and my storage ran out in my phone. Uh, I shouldn't have even put that video up. Um, it was uh, only like four minutes long and I, I plan on get, buying some more storage from my phone. I actually got a uh, thumbs down on that video and I really don't blame them, whoever did it, because uh, it was so short and, well, anyway, I'm going to buy some storage so that I can actually uh, make a longer video when I'm out and about. And I just wanted to show you the quickly the um, haul video the um, several things that I got from the thrift store. So this is very neat. I really like it. I'm not sure what kind of wood it is. Possibly walnut, possibly rosewood. I don't know. It's got a super smooth finish. Um, this is actually a little book rack. And uh, these inside, they it slides out so that you can make it shorter or longer. And I paid a dollar for that. Actually has some, I believe it's like Hebrew writing in here. If anybody knows anything about this piece or has a piece like it, please let me know. Um, but it's super cool. I love it. So I'll probably be putting that in my Etsy shop. Uh, look at the craftsmanship on that. Very, very nice. And I got, uh, there goes Joey. Bye, Joey. Didn't want to be in the video. <laughs> I got only two pieces of jewelry. They were pretty cleaned out. So I got this little um, swan. I, I keep calling it a swan. It's a stork, actually. Little stork pin. Uh, pink stones with little green rhinestone for the eye. And I don't know why I got this. Probably shouldn't have. It is Monet. Uh, simple, modernist style pin with some rhinestones or crystals in the top so it's it uh didn't photograph real well it didn't it's not real interesting so i'm not sure i don't know the fact that it's monet may save it and then this is really cool uh a storage box or a hat box mid-century modern has this vinyl quilted thing going on on top uh very very cool um so I've never seen anything like this before, um, although I know it's old because just that quilting stuff, I just recognize that as being being vintage. I paid $2 for this, and uh, yeah, so that was it. That was the big four things that I got at the thrift store, but uh, let me show you. Oh, there's my, there's my mess of a... Uh, some listed, some not listed area. And uh, I wanted to show you something else and talk about something else. Um, you know how Margaret loves uh, cloisonne and she finds cloisonne pieces and uh, she thinks they should be worth more? Well, I have a little damascene collection that I feel the same way about. I just love damascene and I just found this uh, I just found this website. It's actually a blog, I guess. And I'm going to really read up on this because apparently, you know, there's differences. There's real and faux. Look at this. Real and faux damascene. Uh, so I have some real and I think I have some faux. So let me show you what I have. And this is, uh, this. the name of this site here is My Classic Vintage my classic jewelry vintage jewelry blog huh that's a little redundant isn't it <laughs> but uh you'll be able to find that and right there's the link and uh so let's look at my collection here i just love this stuff um it's a very small collection but okay this appears to be what they call genuine because it has the uh well, let me, let me read you Wikipedia's definition of damascene. It says, Damascening is the art of inlaying different metals into one another 
typically gold over sil or silver into a darkly oxidized steel background to produce intricate patterns similar to Nello, Nilo, N-I-E-L-L-O. -L -L the English term comes from a perceived resemblance to the rich tapestry of Damascene silk or damask silk. I'm sorry. Boy, I can't really read. So this I think they call Nello. I'm not sure. I have to look into that, but um, they're all like Damascene-like. Um, this I believe is a real piece, a little fan. And these, these I think are real. Excuse the camera for going all over the place. I should have this stationary. Uh, this uh, this little piece I like, but I think that might be the faux piece they're talking about. Uh, this has the that older clasp on it. I forget what it's called, bugle or something like that. Forget. That's a pin. Yeah, when I saw this stuff where it really wasn't going for that much, I thought I'm just going to start a collection because I I just really think it's pretty. I love it. So. You know, who knows if I'll sell it one day as a, as a lot. I might. Here is another little pretty pair of clip earrings. And I have a, a lion brooch. If you look on eBay, you'll see these. I mean, they are, uh, they're plentiful. They're co kind of common. Um, I've seen the boats and I've seen the lion and I've seen the fish. Fish is really cool. I love the fish. I love fish jewelry. Um, these are some more clip ones. There, I'm on the fence about those. I think they're faux. Yeah, I think they are. This is a very old little bracelet. Needs cleaned up. But uh, that's old. And these are. These are really pretty. I like those a lot. So yeah, that's my uh, that's my little jewelry uh, collection of Damascene. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I hope everybody's summer is going well. My my sales have been slow, but uh, we can expect that in the uh, summertime. So that's all I have for you. Thank you so much for watching and uh, check out this uh, check out this website. Looks like it's pretty interesting. You can learn all about Damascene from it. Okay, thanks for watching. Have a blessed day. Be kind when you're picking. If you like these kind of videos, please uh, like and subscribe and um, leave me a comment. I love the comments. Thanks for watching. Bye.